Hi folks, today I'm going to be reviewing the game Ur, the role game of Sumer. This particular version of the game came out in 1977 and it is for two players. Now this game is a precursor to backgammon and this game has been around for over 2,000 years. The object of the game is you're going to be trying to get six of your discs from your home, uh, from your start space all the way back to your home space. So let's take a look at it. Okay guys, here we go. Each player is going to be receiving six of these little wooden discs over here. And the way you're going to have it set up is you're going to have two pieces in what is called the tomb. Uh, three pieces on the startup space over here, which is going to allow you to enter the board. And then you're going to have one chip on the space over here. Now what the object is, is you're going to be trying to get all six of your pieces off into the home space. And the path you're going to follow for the brown, it's going to be like this. And then for the red, it's going to be like this. So this is what the different dice symbols mean. If you end up rolling three of the dots, you're going to move one of your pieces five squares, or you'll be able to move one of your playing pieces from the tomb into the starting position. If you roll three blanks, you'll be able to move four squares and then take another turn. Two dots, you'll move one square and then you'll take another turn. And if you roll only one dot, your turn is going to end. Roll the dice, and let's just say I'm the brown player, and I'm going to go ahead and roll. I've rolled one dot, so that is going to go ahead and end my turn. So let's go to the red player. The red player goes ahead and rolls, and he rolls two dots. So this is going to allow him to move one square. So let's just say he does something like this. Now on the board, there are three different spaces that are going to activate either a penalty or some kind of a reward. You've got the bonus doubles over here, and this is going to allow you to move the same playing piece forward by the same count of your previous roll. You have the bonus rosette over here, which will allow you to enter one playing piece onto the board from the tomb into the start position. And then you have what are called the penalty eyes. If you land on this, your opponent is going to be able to move any one playing piece forward four squares. Uh, now I've gone on the bonus rosette over here, so this is going to allow me to enter in a playing piece. So I'm going to go ahead and move a piece from the tomb over here. And then I'm going to go ahead and take another turn. So once again, I've rolled, I've rolled a dot, and that is going to go ahead and end my turn. So let's go over to this side. This side rolls two dots, so this is going to allow him to move one. And then since I've landed here on the rosette, I'll go ahead and enter a piece. And let's say I've gone ahead and I've rolled this. So now this is going to allow me to move four squares and take another turn. So what I'll do is I'm going to go and go one, two, three, four like this. And since I've once again landed on the rosette, I'm going to go ahead and uh, place another piece into the starting spot. Now I've rolled one and I'm going to go ahead and end my turn. And this is basically the way the game is going to go. Now if I end up landing on a piece by exact count like this, this piece is going to go back to his tomb. Um, another rule is is that you can have more than two piece, more than one piece occupying a space and you have to move if you can. So if an opponent ends up landing on you like this and you have more than one disc on there, this is automatically going to send him back to the tomb like this. But anyway, the way you're going to get off the board is you're going to have to roll and get something by exact count. Like say you've got a five, you go one, two, three, four, and that'll take you off the board. And the winner of the game is going to be the one that gets all of his discs off of the board into the home space. And that, folks, is Ur Royal Game of Sumer. So my final thoughts on Ur. Well, this game is definitely a precursor to backgammon uh, by the way it plays. And games like Sorry and Parcheesi uh, came from this game. Um, this is, if you're looking for a very a simpler version of backgammon, this is a pretty cool little game. Now, it is definitely based on some luck because you're going to be rolling dice and you're going to be uh, moving. But, of course, you're going to have a choice as to which piece you're going to move. Uh, and you can actually use a little bit of strategy to double up on your pieces in case your opponent runs into them and has to get back sent, sent back to start. Um, I do like the symbols on the game. That's pretty cool. Um, you could definitely tell this was uh, some Egyptians that played in this game for sure. Um, but yeah, this is an old classic game, and this is a good game still, I think. It is based on some luck, and it's a simple game. Definitely not a hard game at all. So uh, yeah, I would recommend picking it up if you've got older games like Backgammon and Sorry and games like that. All right, guys, that's my review of Ur. We'll see you later. Keep on gaming.